What's up, everybody? Red Thorn here from Red Thorns Gaming. World of Kings is on the plate today. Finally, a World of Kings video, other than my initial ones. This is a guild raid, and we are doing the very first one, but on the adventure difficulty. This should be fun. We are all joining in on the raid team. We are hoping to get at least 20 or so people. What are we at, 16 right now? I think only 18 signed up. We can always get outside help. It's no problems there. Let's see. Like I said, this is a pretty, well, the normal one is pretty easy. This is the adventure one. We have to be gear level 95 and 4,600 damage per second rating. I'm at gear 97 with almost 5,200 damage rating. So I'm good to go here, I believe. I'm about to find out. Hopefully. Not many videos can be done on World of Kings, unfortunately. You cannot, as far as I know, you cannot spectate in other guilds, guilds war. Not like Lineage 2 Revolution. Which means that only I can do videos whenever we get into a fight. Which, unfortunately, we just, not unfortunately, yay, we just won a guild war, but unfortunately, I wasn't, I wasn't recording it. So it looks like... We are, but you must separate all three bosses now. Okay, this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be kinda easy. We have four healers, we have three tanks, five healers, three tanks, and a slew of damage dealers. Hopefully enough, but then again, this is again, probably not going to be as, as terrible. Oh, somebody actually pulled this. And here we go! <laughs> guild Siege! Not Guild Siege, they're Guild Raid, Guild Dungeon, Guild Dungeon Raid. Don't expect me to be in the top five. There are way stronger people than me. I'd say, as I'm, well see, I'm, I'm fighting for fourth and third and fifth, I don't know. We'll find out. But I don't expect, at the end, to be in the top five. Okay, so they're just gonna go to town on... And there's really no reason why I don't see this being difficult. I don't see the next one being difficult on Adventure either, even though you gotta have like a 115 gear level, which is... <laughs> It's gonna, I'm 97, it's gonna be a hot minute before I get there, but once I get there, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And yes, I'm on auto because I play better. It's like, okay, I'm on auto, but it's more like semi-auto. I let the game do what the game needs to do, but when I see the opportunity to do something else, I'm going, like I just did there, I'm going to Get off of auto, per se? Grenade! Because you, you can set up your auto battle to use certain skills in an order. But sometimes you want to use something before something else, and when you're in auto you can't do that because it's, it's just going to go in order. So if something is there, and it's not next in the order, I'm going to hit it. So that's why I say semi-auto. Looks like we're getting more people. We're at 22 now. Awesome gear. If you have the gold, this is where pay to win comes in. If you have the gold to bid high for this awesome gear, you will get it. If you do not, maybe some other time. And those developers have, well, I don't know if the developers have specifically said, but somewhere along the lines, somebody said, this game was not really pay to win, but that's garbage. It really is kind of pay to win, but not in the traditional sense where you're over here trying to buy all the best gear and stuff. It's more pay to win 
in the fact that you can buy all the bounce and the costumes and the pets and they all get you stronger. Rather than buying all the gear to get you stronger, you, you buy all the other stuff to get you stronger. It's crazy. And then at the end of raids like this, gear drops and if you have the gold, you can do a max bid and buy it outright. And the only way to get gold is, there's two ways really. Well, there's, there's a couple ways, there's a few ways. You can do consignment, which is where it's like the auction house. You sell stuff, and then if you make enough silver, like 100 silver turns into one gold. Or you can, you have alchemists. Alchemists will do alchemy and, and produce gold over a 24 hour period. It's an hour long wait for each tick. And every tick gets you X amount of uh, silver. You can get about 10, 10 and a half gold per 24 hour period. All right, so we have cleared that, that it was too easy. All right. Some are going left, some are going right. And the third way is that you buy for real money. I think they're called tickets. And you turn tickets into silver and then you trade silver for gold. And that's what a lot of people do. They buy all these, they buy all the, the, the pay for money tickets and they turn the tickets into silver, silver and gold. And then when at the end of the raids, they have a ton of gold and they just buy their, you know, everything they need. So it takes time. So it's not technically pay to win, but it is pay to win. So be it. Something's attacking me. This is not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Actually, I didn't really think this was going to be difficult. I mean, I guess if you're under 95, well, if you're under 95, you're not gonna be in here in the first place. But if you're only 95, I mean, I'm 97, I'm not having any issues here. Minimum damage per second requirement is 46 something. Most people have that anyway, but not a lot of people are at 95. Gear level, so. And that is a prerequisite to getting in here. You have to be 95 gear level and 4600 something damage per second rating in order to even apply to get into here. Don't aggro boss just yet. Let me. I guess he says let me put marks, etc. He's acting like he's done this before. I don't think he's ever done this before. Maybe he watched a YouTube video. This shouldn't be too hard. I mean, if if all we have to do is keep the three separated, it's probably harder than it sounds, right? I can't believe I'm still fifth. That's it. That's outstanding. There's all these other damage dealers here, and I'm still fifth. That's that's phenomenal. I guess I underestimate underestimate myself. Let's see if these guys are having issues over here. No, it looks like now are they still fighting? They are. I'm gonna try to. The team's gonna be dead by the time I get over there. You move very slowly. Move very slowly when you're not on a mount. We move like 250% faster when you're on one. Okay, he said, "Don't aggro the boss." They aggroed the bosses, and then he died. Shocker, this is where it may get difficult. Nice language, Rossi. 10 seconds, look at this, here we go. Five seconds before we begin. Here we go. As we attempt to do this, for the first time ever. They are not doing a very good job of separating the bosses. I'm not sure what happened there. He said separate the bosses. I think this is about to be a white. I think if we don't separate these bosses, I mean, somebody's, this dude is,
I think what happened is that somebody started off with an area of effect. And it made things a hundred times worse. Well, the mechanics seem pretty simple. I mean, we're just, we're, I'm pitching half these people on auto right now, like me. Now, what he failed to do is that he failed to tell us which one we go after next. But I think everyone's just gonna focus on the nearest one. Now he tells us orange after everybody already on orange. Maybe they did fix this bug, and it doesn't pop out anymore. That's outstanding. That used to be super annoying. Dekuma is dead. Okay. I mean, all we had to do was take this person down, and then... Whoa! Roll out of the way! Well, I don't think there is a way to get out of there. Oh, there we go. I guess there is. Need more healing. Arg. I love the dwarves. Oh, can't escape down the stairway. Ah, look at me. Now I'm in 10th. What a shocker. Part for force. I think that dude is dead. Oh, that was the old mob. There we go. Now we got some other dead people over there. I see. The dead people. Wow, Lord, that's not good. Oh, you can't even see. It, it's up for a, like a brief second, and then and then it's gone. And now now we have I have to get over here because I need a place to roll away. Goodness, see everybody, you only have X amount of resurrections for the team. Looks like everybody wasted them. Uh, I guess it wasn't really a waste, but. How's our. Yeah, I'm staying away from that. Okay, well. I need power. The power of the dragons. And she turned into a dragon. Sweet. And we have like all dead people here. Well, half our team is dead. Okay, what do we have left? We have one, two, two healers left. It's not usually a good thing. But then again, half the team is dead, so it's not like they have that much to heal. And I probably should pay attention more. Good interrupt. I 
Ow. Up in the air, we're still shooting, that is outstanding. Uh oh. Okay, that's new. Well, that's the end of that. Alright, so... He didn't even go... So this is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. The initial part was, this is not. Well, that was a double. That was a double. And it looks like it's just busting out these... There it is again. So you need, okay, so auto is not recommended for this. Or you're gonna wind up not having an interrupt when you need one, for sure. She calls back the people we just killed and shadows. Who do damage and then disappear. Okay. I think there's only Rossi left. Oh no, and this tank. But what are you two gonna do? Nothing. So you might want to hurry up and die. So auto is not recommended at this particular phase because you need to save and interrupt. Whatever skill you have that does interrupt, you need to save it. Which for me kind of sucks because it also gives me energy back. So if I'm not using it, if I'm not using it, I'm not getting energy, which means I'm not doing damage and I'm a damage dealer. So hopefully by this point, you understand the mechanics of your own character and you know what you need to do to do the most damage or the best healing or the greatest tanking, whatever it may be. And you don't need to use auto battle because it's not gonna work out too well for you. I think from this point forward, these adventure difficulty guild raids are difficult. What is he saying? The dragon knee to go behind it and that was my cat who just made that weird noise what you're what we are experiencing right now is is five seconds before the second attempt and what we are experiencing is that when one person or two people go afk in the middle of a raid and then they take forever to come back other people start to go afk so by the time the first people who went afk come back then a whole bunch of other people are now afk And then back and forth, back and forth. It's a vicious cycle. Bottom line is, don't go AFK during the raid. Like, wow. These are all supposedly experienced MMORPG players. Not looking very experienced doing that. Okay, so this first part we can go auto because it doesn't really matter. It's all about avoiding area of effect and killing and just burning these things down. And then when she goes full dragon, that's when things get unautoed. I hope I remember to do that. I'm not gonna do it. I wanted to see if you could do some kind of action, but I, we're in the middle of fighting. Like, I'm, that's just not gonna work. Whoa, Legacy almost bit it.
My suggestion is try not to use any Resurrects before these three or two out of these three go down. Save your Resurrects for the Dragon phase. Look at this, two died already. Because they don't, what, know how to avoid small circles on the ground? I mean, come on. Everybody wants to rush forward and do as much damage as possible. She is walking back toward, and I, yeah, you need to kill her first. So it looks like half the team is going after blue. Did I miss something? Half the team's going after blue. Half the team's going after star. Okay, so he did say triangle and I just missed it. My bad. Holy crap, and I even used a potion and still died. What was that all about? What was that? I, I don't even know what just happened. I need to go back and, and see that because I was not in that area of effect. I had a living bomb on me and then a potion kicked in and I still died very quickly. I'm at 38 minutes. I'm already longer than an El Tawar Fortress Seeds video. There you go, I wasn't the only one. Somebody else died. I did too. I don't know how to raid. It's, it's, it's not about knowing how to raid. It's about knowing the mechanics. This is a wipe. They need, they need to just wipe. I don't even understand. There's like five people alive, but they're not paying attention to that. All right, so this is our last try. And I can see why, because we have some people here who don't, including myself a little bit, don't seem to pay attention to what's being said. I was looking not at the chat screen when he said go triangle, so I went to star. Don't do that. Pay attention to the chat or be in Discord or some other voice chat software and, and listen to what's going on. It actually makes it a lot easier because then they can scream in your ear, go here, go here, you know what I'm saying? It's so. I think the Akuma is missing what a lot of people are saying, which is we did move away and we still died. It didn't matter, we were full health and we still died. So we don't understand what was going, what's going on. And that may have been, that may have been what killed me and I didn't even see it, it was a red line link. I don't remember seeing a red line coming out of my body like I normally do. So I don't know if I, or, and I didn't see the thing on the, uh, on the screen where it says, stay away from, you know, and I never saw any of that. All right, he just basically said, screw him. Five seconds before the third and final time we attempt this. And I know you love my title. I know you do.
There's there's the red line I was talking about. So I can't see it, so I know that wasn't it. So maybe what the other guy said was true. Maybe some of us simply don't have the hit points to survive that at this level. I mean, I'm, I'm rocking like 80-something thousand, but it might not be enough. Although living bombs continue to hurt you after they explode. They explode, they do a big amount of damage, and then, you know, you, you, you heal up with a potion or something, but you continue to die. Hey, Kuma. I don't know if he's had too much to drink or something. He's really going crazy there. And there's no more. All right, Gil Drama. Woohoo! Caught on camera. What's up? Here comes the, the AoE circles. And I don't like being near people because she will hit, I don't know, random people, and I don't like being out like me. Okay, they got the bombs this time. So this may. I've noticed that if you, the further away that you stand from the boss, the less likely you are to get hit with a living bomb. Or any kind of bomb, living or otherwise. So it may work out for me by standing back here, where it's just random and it just doesn't really matter. Because Rossi is like half the distance between me and the boss. Rossi isn't getting the living bomb, so who knows? Or maybe it's based off of damage. Which would make more sense. This is not the hardest part. This is actually the easiest part. This whole raid is super easy until this point. Now it's gonna get stupid. And I'm at a I'm I'm at a combat, so I'm drinking some some stuff. And he said you need to get behind this thing. That's not behind it. See, we don't have an order. So I'm just wasting. I'm trying to do the right thing here. Whoa.
Wow. I died quickly. I, I couldn't even get anything off on that. That was just too fast. Okay, so this is this is the loss. We need to figure out how to deal with that. Probably gonna need some bards, maybe. Stack up on the bards for some super awesome group heals or something. Something. Because we are getting slammed and thrown at 80%. So we need to read something about this. I wonder if we have the ability to do that while we are dead. I highly doubt it. Boy, they were quick to jump on that revive button, weren't they? No, I'm not going to be able to see anything out here. They don't even understand. They don't even understand that we're only at 77% with the vast majority of our, our team dead. And there's still like a couple of phases for, for this particular mob, this boss. Bottom line is, you need some kind of rotation for interrupts. You need to ensure that the people in that rotation are not on auto and then that they are not wasting their skills that can interrupt. And I think that is the end of that. All right, so we got to the last boss, at least for our first attempt, and we got there a couple of times actually, so that's not too shabby all in all. But uh, yeah, I mean, we'll let Max and others see these videos. Owen made one, I made one. They can watch these videos and make based off of what they experience and what they're seeing and make a, a decision on how this is going to go. All right? So thank you all for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. And until next time, have yourselves a phenomenal time playing World of Kings. And I will see you again.